In Fee Census, selecting polygons will tell you all about the people who live within custom territories. This is a convenient method for comparing unique shapes created in MapInfo Professional. As opposed to manually drawing polygons, you may want to use an existing MapInfo table that has multiple and precise polygons. Let's go through an example. Click on the individual polygons that you want. Holding down your Shift key will let you select more than one shape. Next, click on the icon with a green box and white arrow. This is the Use Selected option. In this window, choose the field of your table that is storing the names of your shapes. After P-Census has recorded these neighborhoods, the Study Area Wizard will now appear. Now click on Finish and Search Now so that P-Census can read the data point records within each polygon and click on Continue to generate the profile columns. Here we have one combined area union column for all shapes with a separate column for each neighborhood polygon. Let's do another example, but this time we will select more shapes and then create a target list. Because P-Census integrates directly with MapInfo Professional, it uses several MapInfo selection tools so that you can better control your polygon shapes. Once several shapes have been selected and listed, we will click on the Advanced button for more options. In this case, we will set the option for No Shapes to generate only the Area Union column. And instead of Finish, we will click on Next, and Next again. To activate our Target List option, check this box. A lifestyle has already been created, so we'll proceed by clicking on Next, and since we want our neighborhoods to be shown as a list, we will choose Row for each shape. For more information about P-Census and our other solutions, please contact Tetrad.